The summit ended with summaries from Senator Norman Grant, President of the JAS, and Ambassador Ariel Fernandez, Argentina's ambassador to Jamaica. I take this conference as a challenge to the Jamaica Agricultural Society and all the other sectors to engage persons and corporations as we have done today to partner with us to see how we can expand and develop the small farmer so that he can be more productive. I think that we need to bring up the small man and make all these many small men and women big men and women in a collective way. And that's why the cooperative movement is important. And what we need to do also, we, we need to get the message as small farmers because we take time sometimes not to cooperate and we divide and tear down ourselves while the world is moving ahead, ahead of us. And the call that I'm making from the summit is that together we can make a difference. One third of our exports, as an Argentinian uh, uh, player in the, in the food, world food uh, production, one third is through the association of cooperatives. That association, through the years, managed to be independent of international brokers because they, they work together, they save a lot of money with fertilizers, uh, tools, all you know you need for production. Yeah? So, and they accumulated funds in order to, to create the possibilities of, the, of having their own funds, not depending sometimes of financial entities. Yeah? Because one of the things that you learn, and I work for a, <laughs> for, for a bank, is that a bank sometimes have no agriculture experts with, when they analyze a credit loan. Yeah? It's only figures. They don't know what's behind. They don't know which are the efforts of uh, waking up in the morning trying to, for instance, strike the milk of the goat. Yeah? Sometimes I say, well, we have to educate financial institutions too. Because they themselves are losing money for not betting on a small producers. But if the Jamaican Development Bank has 9%, and if a financial private institute doesn't want to catch 100% more, as happens in my country, for instance, hmm, they could have a credit portfolio of thousands of people repaying that credit. Because it said, Fao could tell you about that, that small farmers pay credits at a level of 95, 98%. And if among of those farmers are women, they pay more. Agriscope will be right back. Pork in short supply and Jamaica now looking to export pork are just a few of the recent news articles. Pork in short supply. Right? That is what is facing us as a country today. And if we're listening to the news, we would recognize that the pork industry in North America are facing many challenges right now with disease conditions, right? Which prevents them from even satisfying their own demand, more so to export. So pork is short. Agriscope spoke with Managing Director of the Caribbean Broilers Group, Dr. Keith Emil, to get the company's views on the matter. Well, there's no shortage in pork. What has happened is that our promotion and distribution has made everybody excited about it. So they're anxious to, to see it and taste it. And um, what we've done is distributed it across the island so that it's available. But what has happened is because we are so successful at introducing pork and creating so much excitement, our competitors would like to a piece of the action, so to speak. And so they have created this 
this uh, impression that if they could only get at pork cheaper than ours, uh, in other words, if they could get pork imported, which would be below the cost of our current production in Jamaica, then they could um, put an equivalent product on the market to compete with us. Um, th this is a very unhealthy approach to doing business. We have taken a long time to develop the pork industry here, and there are a lot of farmers out there um, growing pigs for, for us, uh, and um, the idea of undercutting them so that they would probably have difficulty disposing of their pigs, uh, we, we find unacceptable. Uh, we're taking off the pigs to our processing plant. We, we're, we're taking them off every week on, on a regular basis, so much so that not only do we have uh, pork to distribute, we have pork in inventories to carry us over the, um, the next few months. In fact, uh, we have sufficient pork that we could sell some to the competitors if they wanted to, rather than contemplate importing it. And, um, and, and so I'm very excited at the idea that our pork has now, now met with such a tremendous demand. And in fact, we are in the East season, you know, pork is the other white meat. And so if you want an alternative meat for fish for Easter, we're recommending um, Caribbean Passion and, and Copwood pork. It's available all over Jamaica. They, they just have to go to the nearest supermarket. If they can't find a supermarket, then they can phone us uh, at, uh, at, at Caribbean Brawlers or at our, go to our pork store, which is a very exciting place to visit to get as much pork as they'd like.